Terminator, or all of that. That's basically where we are. Um, I, keep, I keep hearing about nuclear weapons. And um, one thing that we have to remember from that is we learn our lesson really, really quickly. And we didn't even have the internet. Now, when we mess up as a society, um, if we do anything wrong, even you know, just from a product point of view, it is all over the internet, and there is, you know, it's vicious. So we learn really, really quickly, and uh, this is helping the progress in AI. Um, and um, you know, it's totally obvious why a lot of the research comes out of um, Silicon Valley in California because they have this fail quick, fail hard, you know, move on mentality. Um, where if you get it wrong, you know, you make it right, you move on, that's it. You know, it's not a, a nightmare, um, and you're prepared for, for failure. This whole thing is helping us progress with AI, and I think we're, we're going to get there um, by being, you know, totally not uh, risk averse, um, by just going ahead, just going for it, because everything that we're doing is unprecedented. We've never done anything of this before. Um, 80 research papers a day are all coming up with tiny iterative improvements on, on things that we're doing. And the one, you know, let, let's say beyond space travel, the one massively regulated area is cars. We don't do things by half with, with cars. We have to MOT them, we have to take uh, driving tests. And um, if this is the driving force behind AI, I think we'll be okay. Um, you know, don't. This may be really hard to, to hear, but two people have died already from autonomous cars. Do you have any idea how many people die every day because we're really crap drivers? You know, there are thousands of us dying. So you have to put these things into perspective, and I think we'll be okay. I'm a, I'm, I, I'm a realist, I wouldn't say idealist about this. So deploy AI and just do it, go ahead. You know, push, push the product. If there's a problem, we'll pull back. But with something like the driving force behind AI being cars and autonomous vehicles, you know, just trust me that there is actually a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't hear about before these things get up, get put on the road. And that's including the research and development for the actual software for the AI. Um, and again, we're not there yet, and, and this is a very rapidly evolving field very, very rapidly. So, you know, we'll get there pretty quick and we'll probably get there safely, but with a lot fewer deaths than, than we see without AI. And that, that goes for healthcare as well. There is a staggering amount of people that die unnecessarily in healthcare.